Hello, everybody. Good afternoon and welcome as we continue our Out of Many Festival. Our Out of Many Festival is in honor of a couple things. We're celebrating the presidential inauguration. This time we know it's of President Barack Obama's second term. But did you know that the museum is planning on doing this festival whoever was elected? So we honor the presidential inauguration and that we have a very uh, democratic republic and we are free to choose our leaders. So we certainly want to congratulate President Obama. And we're also celebrating the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, whose legacy is remembered on Monday. We're celebrating cultures from around the world. Our next act is going to take us to a part of the world that maybe you haven't visited. A while ago, back in Spain, the, uh, the Jewish uh, dispersion that happened around the world. Uh, we're going to hear some more about that history from our performers. We have Miss Flori Jagoda. This is the Flori Jagoda Trio. And she is accompanied by Tiffany Ferrantelli and Mr. Howard Bass. Howard and I have been colleagues here at the museum, and now he's back as a performer. So it's good to have you here, Howard, and it's good to have each of you joining. So please, everybody, join me in welcoming the Flory Jagoda Trio. Thank you very much. Our time is short, so we're, um, we'll, we'll talk a bit about each piece as we go, but I, uh, just a bit of background, a little context. 1492 was a year that had, of course, huge implications and uh, manifestations in this, on this continent and for the people who this museum represents, the Native Americans. But it also had huge implications in Spain for the Jewish population. In 1492, an edict of expulsion was issued saying that unless uh, any Jews w wished to convert to Catholicism, uh, they needed to leave the country. They were given three months. They were not allowed to take their possessions with them, only what they could carry. And what they carried more than anything at that point was their language. And as we know, language embodies so much of our cultures. So in exile, the Jews, who came to be known as the Sephardim, continued their language, which is known either as Judeo-Espanol or uh, Ladino. Uh, so they carried it on and they, they dispersed to lands throughout the Mediterranean and uh, North Africa, uh, all the way to the Ottoman Empire, and in particular, uh, many Jews from Spain s settled in Turkey and the lands uh, controlled by the Ottomans, uh, including the Balkans. And so that f more than 400 years later, a young girl growing up born in Sarajevo and growing up uh, in, in Bosnia, or the former Yugoslavia, spoke Ladino as her first language. And that little girl is with us today, Lori Jagoda, and uh, she is carrying on the culture of the Sephardim. And in particular, it was a woman's uh, tradition to sing, to make new songs, carry on the old songs, and to teach the people through those songs. So, I'm now going to turn things over to Flory. Well, this is a pleasure to me. I am really honored to be part of this weekend. I came to America in 1946. Anybody here close to 1946? Uh, Years and years and years, I lived in a household where only language that was spoken was Judeo-Spanish. We were Bosnians. I was born in Sarajevo, Bosnia. But, and definitely at home, definitely out of home with non-Jews, it was Serbo-Croatian. But the moment you would get into the nona's, probably nona is a grandmother, nona's room or anywhere close to her, it was only in Jidio, Jewish they call it. And this follows what we know, that a woman had a tremendous place for it. It was her mission to carry and to teach her young ones, this language of her heritage, 
and never forget it. So today we will do about five or six songs maybe in Judeo-Spanish, which we really consider as our Jewish language. We will start with a song which is international, the beginning. La, 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 la creación. creación. So definitely I have wonderful musicians here, so they will join me. And Anybody with a knowledge of the Spanish language should really be at home with it because there is really not too much difference when it comes to the real language. What has happened to it, what happens to any language when a people move from their homes. So whatever happened to us, my ancestors started in Istanbul, Turkey. From Turkey, Greece, Greece, Bulgaria, Bulgaria, Yugoslavia that time and even before. The next song is connected to Spain. Uh, as many things as growing up that I heard about Inquisition were not the best. So we never had a real deep feeling for Spain. With years, poets started writing songs to Spain. Golden Age of Spain. One of these songs, Abraham Capone, a, a very well-known poet in Sarajevo, has written this A España. When I saw the lyrics, we love you, we will never forget you, we'll always carry your language, it didn't sound right to me. <laughs> My nona, who was also a singer, taught us songs, <clears throat> and especially Judeo-Spanish songs. 
And she would say, Floritza, my name is Flora, but a little Flora is Floritza. So she would say, this is for the golden age of Spain, these words. Then I have written this lyrics to it that sort of softened it a little bit. They called A España to Spain. Nosotros, madre, te amamos Y mientras toda nuestra vida Tu dulce lengua no te llamó A ti, España bien querida Nosotros, madre Toda nuestra vida, tu dulce lengua no te llamó. Aunque tú nos desteraste de tu seno, no es tan to school in Bosnia, we spoke several Croatian, that was our language as we were growing up, the only, the only difference was that we would come to the door coming home from school and my Nona would standing right in front of the little house and she would say, Bezala Mezuza! Kiss the mezuzah, which is a small little object hanging on a door. 
with a prayer. And this was all right when you would go to school, you would kiss the mezuzah, give me a good trip to school. When you would come home, kiss the mezuzah, thank God for the trip home that I'm safe. So the Judaism went on, and as I said before, the, it was the women who had a mission to continue. This is five centuries later, and we're still <laughs> with some of these songs, and some of us still speak this language. But you learn several Croatian songs in school and, and dances, and we were Bosnian Sephardim. So the next song is actually already changing it to, into rhythms of the region, dance rhythms, singing rhythms, and I have written a song about the ants, lastias. And we had many ants. Mother was not well. You called Tia Paloma, Tia Sara, Tia Regina, and she would take all. The song of this, the one that I have here, Las Tias, is the ants who would take over for holiday dinners. What, the Hanukkah, the Pesach, and so forth. So we will sing for you Las Tias about our, my songs in Bosnia. The main thing of the song is la mishpaha, the family. The family is something when you, when you leave, they're very much with you in your memories. Gracia mus vaya ma, noche di hanuka. Para sentir la sacanda lica, so toda la mishpa. Las hanukias de sir maglaka, busca lia limpia. Thank you. 
<coughs> I get this time, I guess we all say, oh, I had a cold. But I really did have a cold. I'm sorry. Well, we tried this song before for the sound check, but we will repeat it again. This is a typical Bosnian sentimental song. They had what we would call Las Canciones de Corazón. It's the heart songs, the alma, the soul. My nonna would say, si no puedes meter la alma, no cantes. If you cannot put your heart and soul into your song, don't bother singing because you had to feel it. Your particular la guerra, I'm going to war. It is song of many different subjects here that, me that first it, it, it mixes the young man who is going to war. He's throwing two kisses. Uno es para la mi madre, one is for my mother. Y otro es para ti, hija de mi corazón. And the other song, the other kiss is for my girl, the girl of my corazón. <laughs> then it changes to a mother-in-law who is saying to the young girl, the son the kiss that he gave it to me, I will give it to you. I mean, it was always to show that the mother-in-laws are good. All right. So there is humor, there is sentiment, women cry. It's that kind of a song. Yo parti para la guerra. Nice to have helpers. You see this? Yo parti para la guerra. Dos besos al aire yo eché. Uno es para la mi madre y el otro es para ti. Niña de mi corazón, el otro es para ti. Sade se enamora que fue hija de luna que lunar es mentiroso sabe Sade se enamora 
que fuiga de luna que lunar es mentiroso sabe village where we lived about two hours from Sarajevo. Oh, with this song women would cry and cry and there was a lot of sad sentiment in all these songs. The next one is not any much different. You, you want to tell him the story? <coughs> the next song is called <laughs> Madre Mia Si Mi Muero, Mother If I Should Die. It's a, a young girl perhaps a young teenager, who is um, feeling sorry for herself. And so she says, Mother, if I die, I don't want, uh, I don't want the cantors from the synagogue to, to carry my coffin. I want 12 strong young men, Mansevikos. I want them to carry my coffin, and they can look on me and see what they've missed. sort of tango-ish if anybody likes to tango. What does Halva Shekerol mean? We are constantly repeating Halva Shekerol. These are the words 
that is when you are sad, when somebody is gone, buried, you eat black raisins. You eat sweets to feel better. And this is what the young woman had in mind. We are very happy you can take over. Just to say thank you very much, we will be back at 3.30 and we'll get to, hopefully we'll get to do our, the other songs that we planned for today. So uh, come back and see us then if you like. Um, thanks to the National Museum of the American Indian and Smithsonian Institution and uh, all of you for coming. And uh, just to introduce, I'm not sure we introduced Tiffany Ferrantelli who's been singing and playing violin and <laughs> mandolin. I'm Howard Bass, I'm playing guitar, and Excellent. National Heritage <laughs> Fellowship Award winner in 2002, the wonderful and amazing Flory Jagoda. Thank, Thank you, you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it for the Flory Jagoda Trio.